Thank you very much, and thanks for being here tonight. And I just want to say, as the last of the former executive directors, can we give a hand to Vincent Tan, our very executive director? I'm really honored to present this award to Chief Heather Fong. I felt oddly connected to her, even though I've not really worked with her very much, and I've worked with a lot of chiefs of police. I think that that connection is because of my deep understanding of what it is to be, start quote, the first Chinese American woman to, end quote, well, whatever it is. So knowing something about what I have called to come, uh, come to call the culture of Coptom, I can only imagine what it was like for Chief Fong to crack and then break the glass ceilings that were hers to face as the first Asian American woman in so many positions. I want you to go back, if you can, to the late 1970s. Men had doubts about the ability of the fair sex to be competent in any field, let alone the macho field of law enforcement. And many, if not most, in spite of the inspirational Fred Lau, doubted that we very small Chinese people were good for anything but cooking or laundry. It was Chief Fong's competency, compassion, and commitment that allowed her to be the first of her kind to succeed. Now, I wasn't in the academy when the new recruit, Heather Fong, arrived, but the word on the street was that she proved herself worthy immediately and left many of her male counterparts kind of scratching her, their heads in both the substantive and physical training courses. When she advanced and was back at the academy as an instructor, it is reported that she would run the recruits through their paces and, the and then amaze all when she would glance at her watch, realize she needed to be back at the academy, and then turn around and run back to the academy to teach her class without breaking a sweat or breathing heavily. After only a few years with the department, no man could with any honesty challenge her qualifications or probably beat her in a foot race. Now I am sure that I have always been impressed as have many in this audience with Chief Fong's calm demeanor and cool. Many have reported about this. And though I know that she connects deeply with the community and the person on the street, she also has such a sense of decorum and reserve about her that we all respect so much. There is perhaps only one time in her reported career history when this sense of decorum may not have served her well. I'm sorry to report this, Heather. Though she is often and rightfully credited for her impressive work early in her career on the Golden Dragon Gang homicide case in Chinatown, Fred Lau, who sat in a room that was practically a closet with her translating tape interviews, informs me that Chief Fong was such a properly raised girl that when the bad words came up on the tapes, Heather actually didn't know what they were. <laughs> so she attempted to translate the words quite literally, really confounding the entire investigation. So Fred also has admitted to me that he was familiar with the bad words and finally explained to her their meaning. Apparently her response was to blush. Now Chief Heather Fong has worked her way through close to a dozen ranks within the department before becoming the first Asian American woman to head a major metropolitan police department in 2004. As chief, she spearheaded incredibly important reforms for the community including a comprehensive change in general orders that requires full language access for limited or non-English proficient residents in San Francisco for the first time in the history of this city of immigrants. And we thank you for that. So I am proud to present this Flame of Justice Award to Chief Heather Fong in honor of her achievement and congratulations on the entire the glass ceiling for medical confidence that she that would stand in her way. And as my firefighting husband might remind me, a flame is only the visible, light emitting part of a fire. So I also present this award knowing that we have seen but a very small part of what Heather Fong will accomplish and contribute. And I can't wait to see what happens.
Thank you, Diane. It's a pleasure to see Diane again because, as we all know, in addition to being the executive director of CAA, she was also one of the attorneys at the Office of Citizen Complaints, and that is such an important organization for all of us here in San Francisco. First of all, thank you to CAA, and congratulations on your 40 years of tremendous service to our community. I remember when Fred Lau was first interested in joining the department because I remember seeing the pictures of Fred in the paper hanging upside down. At that time, I wasn't thinking much about policing or law enforcement, but I thought, wow, an organization is pushing forward to try to help not only Fred, but so many in our Asian American community who might be interested in policing. And then a few years later, CAA again was at that forefront with other organizations in the city to encourage young people of all diverse groups to join the police department because we know that in a city it's important to have a police department and fire departments whose members are reflective of the community and its diversity. And so again, CAA was there encouraging that opportunity to be possible. And so I'm very grateful for their advocacy because it is because of their advocacy that so many of us have had very, very successful careers in the police department. I will say, serving as your chief was the hardest thing that I have ever done. I didn't come into the department thinking that I was gonna be the chief. I felt that I would do the best I could in each capacity that I ever served in. But it is not because of one person. It's because of so many of you in this room. And as I saw you at the VIP reception, as I saw you outside looking at the historical um, display, it was like my life passing by me because for each and every one of you, I could come up with a story of how you have touched me, how you have impacted me, supported me, given me a kind word, or said, just keep going. You're doing the right thing. You're on the right path. So tonight, as I receive this very prestigious award, I want to recognize and congratulate the other three honorees, but also to thank each and every one of you, because it's because of your efforts and the men and women of this department that I am accepting this award on behalf of all of you and your support. So thank you very much, and I am totally confident that CAA will have 40 plus more years of tremendous service to this department. And earlier, Diane mentioned that we now have a department general order about limited English proficiency, where each of our officers must ensure that we can communicate in a way with a member of the community. It's not just because of the police department, it's because of the hard work of the community, of CAA and so many other community-based organizations. But also, I need to recognize our police commissioners who are here tonight. They are the ones who ultimately pass the policy that this department follows. And we have with us the president, Dr. Joe Marshall of the United Boys Club. We have Commissioner David Monick of the Berkeley Criminal Justice Center. We have with us Commissioner Petra De Jesus, who's worked a lot with us on immigration issues. And also, last but not least, your executive director is our police commissioner, Commissioner Vincent Payne. So thank you very much.